Okay, so let's take a quick look at three Azure data roles that Azure wants you to know about, specifically related to data services. When I say roles here, I don't mean like Azure permissions. I actually mean like jobs that people would do within Azure. Uh, and let's just take a look at it here. So the first one is database administrator. This is somebody that would configure and maintain a database such as Azure data services or SQL servers. And they would be responsible for database management, management security or granting users access, backups, monitoring performance, and common tools that they would use would be Azure Data Studio, SQL Management Studio, Azure Portal, the CLI. The next role would be Data Engineer, and that would be to design and implement data tasks related to the transfer and storage of big data. The responsibilities here would be database pipelines and process, data ingestion storage, prepare data for analytics, prepare data for analytics processing, and common tools that they would use would be Azure Synapses Studio, SQL, Azure CLI, and the last role here we have is data analyst. So this is analyzes business data to reveal important information. So you have provide insights into data, visual reporting, modeling data for analysis, combines data for visualization and analysis. Common tools here are Power BI Desktop, Power BI Portal, Power BI Service, and Power BI Report Builder. So I just want you to know that there's definitely a lot more roles than just these three here, but this kind of helps you narrow down what this entire DP900 is focused on, which are these three kind of roles here. But what we'll do is we'll jump into these common tools and just talk about them a little bit more in detail uh, next here, okay?